We're going to give this a minute, and then we're going to go ahead and get started with our call. So as people are filtering in, if you just want to go ahead and mute your line, we would greatly appreciate it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Everybody, welcome to our team call, No Sleep Till Ambassadors team call this week. Um, we did have to change it from Sunday to Tuesday um, due to the holiday weekend, and I hope everybody took some time and enjoyed themselves because I know I did, and it was quite refreshing. Today's call, um, I've done some research on, and I really think that this is important, and I hope that as I go through this, you know, maybe it it hits something inside of you and you something clicks for you. But the call tonight is about decisions. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Create, live, and enjoy the life you've dreamed of. Shape your destiny. What walls do you have built up that are stopping your growth? Know who you are. Know what you want and know how to get it. There was a moment in your life that was so significant, you probably even know what you were wearing, maybe where you were standing and who you were talking to, when a decision was made. And that decision changed your life. For me, I had a decision to make whenever I joined at work, and I will tell you, that's the moment that my entire life changed. On March 2nd, 2013. Your desire to expand has brought you to this team, and that tells me you are someone that wants more. No matter where you are in your life right now, I know you want more. No matter how well you're doing or how challenged you may be, deep inside you there's a belief that your experiencing of life can and will be much greater than what it already is. You're destined for your own unique form of greatness. You don't just believe this. You took action to join the team. Make your dreams real. How can I take immediate control of my business? What can I do today that can really make a difference, that can help me and others to shape our own destinies? How can I expand, learn, and grow and share that knowledge with others in a meaningful, enjoyable way. <clears throat> You're going to do that when you wake up your sleeping giant within you. Realize that you have the power inside of you to change anything and everything in your life in an instant. It all lives within you. This giant is just sleeping, waiting patiently for you to finally make a decision. Everyone that comes into this business starts the exact same way. We all have the same options and the same kit selections. Our websites are all the same. No one has the upper hand. No one else is more special than you. Decisions are the pathway to power. I found this quote by Benjamin Disraeli, and it says, Man is not a creature of circumstances. Circumstances are the creatures of man. I really like that. In your moments of decision, your destiny is shaped. The only difference between you and every other It Works distributor is what they do differently when presented with the same situation. Different actions produce different results. Every action leads us to our destiny. So ask yourself, do you take action? You have to take control of every one of your actions. It's not what you do once in a while that shapes our lives, but it's what we do consistently on a daily basis. What are you prepared to do in your business? How many people are you prepared to speak with every day? How will you feel when someone tells you no? What will decide the actions that you take? Who will you become? 
what is your destiny's destination of life? How you're going to come to every single one of those answers is by making a decision. Every single thing that happens in your life, both what you're thrilled with and challenged by, began with a decision. In the moments of decisions, your destiny will be shaped. The decisions you make right now today, as you're listening to me, will affect you in weeks, months, even years to come. In this business, we're surrounded by people that against all odds would normally fail at this business. I, for instance, am one of those people. I had a million reasons why not. However, I have one reason why, and that's my daughter. Could you look your kid in the face and say, sorry, you can't eat today because I didn't try hard enough or I made a wrong decision? I couldn't. I have become an example of the pure proof that everything lays within our decisions. I decided against all odds I would work harder, longer, smarter. I would do whatever it took to grow my business. I would sacrifice everything and go after my dreams. My whole life changed in one day because of my decision. Fear tried to bring me down, but I silenced it by working harder. I did not expect anyone to build my team or give me any customers. I decided that I would be a leader, and I would run, and I do mean run my business. I realized that some people would come into this business and quit, and I quickly learned that's not my fault. It's not personal. I realized some people just want this as a hobby, and it's not right for me, sorry, for me to push my goals on them. It's not their job to feed my kid. It's mine. So I realized that I needed to partner up with people like me. I needed and wanted runners, people that see the vision and go after it for themselves. Then I realized that I wanted my runners to become leaders. I knew I needed to set the baseline standards for myself when dealing with a team. I know I never wanted to push people to run their business. I will never want more for you to be successful than what you will want. I will not run your business for you. However, I will be there for you as much as what you would like. It's important to determine someone's commitment levels when they're entering the business. I see lives changing all around me. People are retiring from their jobs, and every one of them have a few traits in common. Throughout the last year and three months, this is what I have seen every single leader do without fail. They're active on team pages. They're all on training calls. They're on team calls. They completed the training academy in their e-suite. They stay connected. They ask questions. They don't expect people to chase them down. They run their auto ship and complete the steps to success every month. They have a hundreds list completed. They explore files, download them, and make them their own. They run a fan page. They try everything, and then they try it again. They choose a topic, and they master it, whether it's parties, events, marketing, videos, product knowledge, whatever it is that that person is really good at and that they love, that's when you master it, become the best that you can at it. They blitz, and they wrap, and they share the opportunity with everyone. So let's face it, if you're not wrapping, you're not growing. These people, they reach out to sidelines. They watch a million YouTube videos till they find what suits them in their style. Not everything that somebody says or everything that you watch is going to trigger something inside of you to want to learn more. But there is somebody out there that is teaching and leading the way that you would like to lead. So find that person, focus on what they're doing, and duplicate it. They do these things not because they're asked to, 
but because running a business is very important and they want to be successful leaders. To sum that all up, they made a decision to run their business. They decided to wake up the giant inside of them. In this business, no one has a lack of opportunity. The biggest thing that will stop you in your business is simple. It's you. You have to learn to get out of your own way and have no excuses. Your excuses are conditions of your life, and that does not decide your destiny. But the decision to get the courage up to silence your fears and put blinders on and control your actions Decide nothing will stop you. Nothing will deny you your destiny. Just take Nike's advice and just do it. A decision is not a preference. For instance, I would like to quit smoking. I would like to lose weight. Those are preferences. A decision means cutting off any other possibility to cut. A true decision means committing to achieving a result, cutting yourself off to any other possibility. That is a true decision. To make better decisions, you need to start making more of them. You'll get better and better the more you do. Don't leave your decisions up to circumstances. There's three things you need to focus on when you're making a decision. What to focus on in your business? What do things mean to you? And what should you do now? I'm going to explain what's called the Niagara Syndrome. Don't get caught up in the current. Don't just go with the flow of the river. What if the only thing that wakes you up in the current is the fact that you're five feet away from Niagara Falls in a boat with no oars? At this point, you're going to say, oh, shit. By then, it's going to be too late. You're going to fall. Maybe it's going to be a financial setback, maybe an ending to a relationship, maybe health problem. Whatever challenges you're faced with could have been changed upriver with better decisions. Perhaps at the fork of the river, you made a plan and planned ahead. Set a course for where you really want to go by using a map. Make quality decisions along the way. Plan your route. Clearly decide what you want. Take action. Notice what's working and not working. When things are not working, change your approach. Those are some of the things I learned about decisions. And for me, all of this hit home. Because the day that I joined, it worked. I'm going to share my story with you again. When I joined at Works, I joined with the last bit of money that I had. And I'm a single mom. I don't get child support. I didn't have a job. Although I was looking for a job and had about 3,000 applications out, I couldn't find a job. The money that I used was my income tax money. I waited for it. I was broke. Zero income from October, November, December, January, February. And then I got introduced to It Works. And I decided if this works, I'm going to join. If it doesn't, I'm not. And it worked. It double digit worked for me. And through all of the trials and tribulations that I had, I knew that when I joined this business, I couldn't look at it like a victim role. I knew that no matter what I went through, that today was the opportunity that I needed to change. And I seriously had to change every part of me. I have had to work on my personal development so hard because I knew what I wanted in this business and I knew <clears throat> where I wanted to go. But I just wasn't sure exactly how to get there. But the more I worked on myself, the better I got. And that's not saying that I'm perfect and I know everything because I don't. I mean, I get on these calls and I still get nervous and I call Jenny throughout the day like, does this sound okay? Does this sound right? Because it's nerve-wracking to me sometimes. 
but the more I'm doing it, the better I'm getting. I've stepped out of my comfort zone in ways that I never thought I would before. When I joined the business, I got on a bus, a Greyhound, with my daughter. We drove 24 hours on that Greyhound because I had 72 people to wrap in Pennsylvania. And I stayed there. And I started working on myself. And I started building my team. I didn't build my team and make my good bonus by accident. I did it with full intention. I worked my business very hard every day, nonstop, with blinders on. And trust me, I was surrounded by people that were like, you don't have a job. You don't work. This isn't going to work. Why are you doing this? Negative people. I had those people all around me. And I had to start eliminating them. Because I knew I could see this vision with it work. I could see it. And I knew that I was going to achieve it. I knew that I was going to make my diamond because I declared it. I was working for it. I was not going to accept no. And that doesn't mean that I was expecting my team to build me to diamond. I did whatever it took to build myself to diamond. I talked to people. I went without sleep. I did everything and anything. I stepped way past anything that I ever did before. And I worked nonstop to get this. And it worked for me. And it, it works for everybody else, too. When you decide that you want to join this team and you decide that you want to be an It Works distributor, there's a few things I think you should ask yourself beforehand. I think you should ask yourself, do you want to spend money wrapping or do you want to make money wrapping? That's up to you. Either way is fine. You can be a loyal customer, and you can be a loyal customer and wrap for the same prices that you can as a distributor. But if you see a vision of building a legacy and you believe that you can go after it, I would say go full force, nonstop. The next question you need to ask yourself is, do you like to help people? Do you like being around people? If that answer is no, it works is probably not a good fit for you because every single day of our lives, we are helping people change their lives no matter what. And these people need to trust in you that you have their best interest at heart. And when you are becoming a leader and you have a team underneath you, anytime your team comes to you and they need your help with something, it's your job to help them. It's your job to reach back to them and assist them with the questions that they have. If you don't know, that's okay, but don't just leave people hanging. Ask somebody else because we're all here to help. Joining at works is seriously, it's like a big family. But instead of my family being like one little area now, it's all over the United States. My team is all over the United States because I talk to people everywhere. And then my team talks to people everywhere. It's what we do. And I really think it's what we're good at. But if you're thinking about joining the team and you're scared or you have fear, that we can work with. We can work with that all day long. If you're trainable, we can work with that too. The one thing I can't work with is a person that doesn't like to help other people. If you don't like to help other people, just become a loyal customer. That's what you need to do because those are the ones that I can't help. And as you're becoming a leader and your team is coming to you and they need help charting or, or anything else, especially charting, when your team comes to you, it is your job to chart them in the way that is best suitable for them and not yourself. You don't chart somebody for your growth. You chart somebody for their growth. That's important. That's how you're going to have the trust of your team. And you need that. So there's a lot of decisions that need to be made as you're joining the team. There's a lot of decisions you'll make as, even if you are a distributor. Should I get on this call? Do I have time? 
Should I go talk to this person? Should I blitz today? How many people should I talk to today? Should I run my business or should I vacation today? That's all up to you. But what's going to set you aside from everyone else is the decision that you make whenever you're presented with the exact same scenario. So if you want to be an ambassador, work like an ambassador. Walk like an ambassador. Talk like an ambassador. Teach like an ambassador. I don't care if you just signed up and you don't have anybody underneath you. If that's what you want, then that's what you need to portray. Does that make sense? Jenny, are you there? Hello. She might be with a customer right now. I'm here, sorry. I'm with a customer right now. But I'm still on the call. <laughs> All right. It did make sense. I did, I did listen to the whole thing, and it made perfect sense. It's just simple. It's just about the decisions that we make. And I'm going to unmute the call right now. Um, and I, there's a new distributor that's on. Her name is Terry. And, Terry, I'm going to unmute the line. If everybody else could please leave your lines muted. Um, Terry, I have a couple questions I want to ask you. And, yes, there's surprise questions, but it's nothing hard. So if you can unmute your line for a minute. Terry, are you there? Yep, I'm here. <clears throat> You're a newer distributor to the line and to our team. And I know a little background about you is you were with It Works before and you were on another team. Right. And I know you were really getting what you needed. What has been your experience since you've joined our team? Um, well, it's so much more positive and um <laughs> You don't. Mm -hmm. When I joined the first time, the so the girl I joined with didn't even know I had joined for five, four days, and um, I got a message from her upline before she even acknowledged me, and um, I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing at all, not at all. And from that po that moment that I asked her questions till the end that I was with her, every time I asked a question, it was met with. Um, negativity and, and snappiness, and that has not been my, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my allergies are killing me today, I'm sorry, I'm going to sneeze, hold on. Ooh. Oh, bless you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, God bless you. <coughs> what? I said God bless you. Oh, thank you. So that's not been my, my experience at all. If I have any any sort of question, even if it's a stupid question, you know, sometimes I, I I ask a stupid question. I mean, you know, they're not always intelligent, you know, and, and it's they're not that they're answered. The questions are answered all the time. Um there's there's a camaraderie feeling. You're not singled out. You're not there's no favoritism here. If you have a question, it gets answered. If you have an issue, it gets answered. Somebody Somebody answers you, you know. Um, everyone's friendly. Everybody's everybody's there for the team. You know, the one team, one mission is is uh, working and true in this group. Good. And it, it wasn't in the other one. It was. It was. It almost made me not want to join again. But there's something about the there was something about the company that that I just didn't want to give up, just because I didn't have a very good team, you know, director. Right. <clears throat> well, I'm really glad that you joined with us because I know, like, for a few months we had talked on the phone, um, you know, while you weren't with it works, just really kind of trying to figure out if this was the right fit for you. And I know you were definitely going through some things personally. Um, and I, you know, there was just something about you. I'm like, I'm not giving up on her. Like, even if I just talk to her or send her a message, like, once a month, I'm not going to give up on her because I know, I know you've seen the vision before. I just think that the leadership that you needed wasn't there. Right, right. And I, I, I totally feel like there's great leadership now. So, you know, it's, um, <coughs> I'm sorry. 
<coughs> uh, so I, I feel really guided and, and um, supported. Feels well, good. good. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you're more than welcome. Karita, I know you're on the line right now, and I want to give a shout-out to you. Can you unmute your line? Um, I know you... You've been in the business for a while, and you just got a new loyal customer today, so congratulations to you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So what has been your experience so far with It Works? Well, I have to say at the beginning when I very first started, I was motivated, and then I took a break, and then I had some health issues, and then I got started again. So I did have my break in there. Um, and I guess it was just a commitment thing. I just didn't have the mindset for it at that time. I really wasn't into working hard, working full time. I originally joined to help Jenny out. I know that sounds terrible, but it's the truth. Um, and I love meeting people. I have no problem meeting people. Um, I don't have any problem passing out cards either. It's I, I am, believe it or not, shy. <laughs> I really am. I know you would never believe that of me, but I am. So it's very difficult for me to approach somebody on the street. And I just have to motivate myself before I go do that. But I think that you're doing a good job because I know you've done a few a few of and how has that gone for you? I'm sorry, say again, please. I know that you've done a few events. Did you oh, like have, doing those? Those were a lot of fun because I had Jenny with me. And I always have fun when I'm with Jenny. Um, I, it's probably not something that I would go out and do on my own. Something, you know, we set up at Storm Stadium, which is our local baseball team here. And even though it's a small stadium, it's not a large stadium like Angel Stadium or something like that, there's still a lot of people to cover. A lot of people to cover. And you can't leave your booth even to run to the restroom. You really need somebody to be there with you. So it's not something that you do on your own. It's just not what I, what we've been doing. And uh, hopefully she likes it. <laughs> I mean, she seems to like it when she's with me, and I know I have a lot of fun. I think she has. I have fun. <laughs> I'm here. I'm listening. I have fun. Okay. Are you still with the customer? No, I'm not. One second. I'm now. I've oh, got I'm one sorry. person walking in, Heather. Um, but can I say something? Absolutely. I love these calls because they keep, they keep you excited. You have to stay excited in this business. You have to plug into the calls and talk to your teammates because, you know, things lose their novelty when you get used to them. And then you get lazy with it and you don't want to do it anymore. But when you get on these calls – and hear these other people and hear the success they're having, you want to do it, and it gets you pumped and excited. So I'm going to put you back on mute. Okay. I agree with what you just said. I really do. I never knew. Um, before I joined at Works, I played a lot of games, and that actually takes a lot of time, and I never really realized how much time that takes. Um, but when I – obviously, I joined at Works, I stopped playing games. But I will tell you something, like, to be completely 100% honest with you, not that it works as a game, but I kind of feel like it's a real-time game, if that makes any sense to you guys that are distributors right now. Because I feel like, you know, we're placing people and we're helping people and, you know, who has this and, and how can I help them and, you know, who, who should I talk to today about the opportunity. I just feel like we're nonstop just going, 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 just spreading the word. And I feel that's kind of what I feel like. Like I, I kind of compare it to like a real, a real, a real time game. Like building a business. That's what it is. But we're not going to take too much of your time up today. Um, and I appreciate you guys being on the call with us this evening. Um, hopefully, the information that I just gave you hits home. And if you are a potential distributor that's on the call right now, one thing I do want you to realize is that the $10,000 good bonus is ending on the last day of May, May 31st. Um, 
So if you are thinking about joining the team, now is the time because the $10,000 is not something that it's like the lottery, you know, you might get it. I'm here to tell you that if you work for it, you can absolutely get it. There isn't anything different for me or you, and I did it, and if I can do it, you can do it. You just have to set your mind, make a decision, and do it. Put blinders on and start changing yourself. And sometimes that's a lot harder than what we think. Um, like I said just a little while ago, I mean, I've spent a year and three months working on myself and redeveloping myself and just going nonstop. And I just, I love what we do. I wouldn't change it for anything. And if I had this decision to make every single day of my life, I would still make the same decision. I thought that I really was in love with the business at the beginning, but I will tell you that even as the time goes on, you know, I'm still in love with the business. I still am going nonstop, and I'm still smiling every day because I don't have to punch into a time clock, and I love what we do. I love helping people, and I want to share this with you, too, you know, Back in the day, like when I was in grade school and middle school and high school, every single report card I've ever gotten in all of my life, I've gotten in trouble for. And the reason I got in trouble is because in every single comment there was, she's visiting with her neighbor. She's turned around talking to somebody. She's always been with somebody. And I always got in trouble for it. And it's funny because now I have a daughter and she's going to be 14 next week and I get the same thing on her report card. And you know what I just tell the teachers now? Mm -hmm. I'm, you know what? Don't hinder her. She's a rap star in training. She likes people. She's a people person. <laughs> just get out of her way. She's a social butterfly. She is. And I will tell you something. This business, okay, we we re we repeat the same thing over and over, you know. Our products are good and the people that we work with stand up repeating the same thing. And my daughter, she's thirteen and now, gonna be fourteen next week, she can explain to you everything that the products do. Like she could run the business. If I was sick for a week, she could run my business. So Jenny, is your customer still there? Uh, yeah, but I, had, I I went ahead and snuck outside for a second. Okay, go can ahead. I just, can, can I just add something in real quick? Yes, go ahead. Okay, it works. Is quickly becoming one of the world's largest direct selling companies, and that's one thing you have to remember when you're deciding if you want to join or not. Um, they're uh, they have the flagship product, the Crazy Wrap. It's the ultimate body applicator. It's like nothing you've ever tried, and it's generating an enormous amount of word of mouth. So that's great when you go on Facebook and, and Instagram and Pinterest, you'll see it everywhere. Um, that doesn't mean anything because we've only reached, what, 5% of the population? Exactly. And, I mean, they're in momentum phase. You can only get it from an independent distributor, so you can't go to Walmart and just pick it up which is it's huge out here. And when we say momentum phase in network marketing, that means we've got less than 100,000 active distributors. And if you compare that to, like, I'm going to say a name, and I know I probably shouldn't, but, like, Avon or Mary Kay that have 15 million distributors, that's huge because you're getting into a company when it's first starting out. When there aren't very many distributors out there, and you don't have a lot of competition when you speak to people. You know, for every one person you meet, they may have three different, um, let's say, Avon reps that they talk to every day. You don't have that with at work. So I'm be meeting people every single day that don't know about this, this rep and don't know about the company. So that's just one thing you have to think of. We're not quite a household name yet, but we will be. So I gotta go back inside. Thank okay, you, I'm gonna put you back on mute. Okay, and I'm gonna add just a little bit to that. Um, when you join it works and you decide um, which kit that you would like to buy, you're not just buying a kit by any means. I mean, it is actually the complete opposite. When you join it works, you're joining a team. 
people that actually care about you and your success, and they will help guide you. It's seriously, it's more of a family atmosphere than what what you'll ever realize without being a distributor. Um, so you're not just buying a kit. That's like a lot of places I did, you know, network marketing before, and it was seriously, I bought a kit, and I was off and never, never land all by myself and trying to learn stuff, and I failed. And I didn't just fail. I mean, I failed miserably. I couldn't set up a party. You know, I was still trying to learn about these products, and those products are not the kind that you want to mess up. Um, and I didn't have it. I didn't have anybody to teach me, and it was it was hard, and I, I failed, and I failed quickly. And so, I mean, I was more hesitant as I was joining It Works because of that, because of the bad experience. But um, like I said, I would do it again every single day of my life. Um, and there was something else that I just wanted to tell you. What was it? I'm going to add that um, Heather and I were actually in a network marketing company together. Yeah. And we were placed in a situation where I signed up, and five minutes later, Heather signed up. So she was under me, and we were given a kit and said, go online and learn this. So we actually had to look for everything ourselves. We had to pull every single piece of information we got and kind of train each other. And that was the worst experience of our lives. And then when we came to It Works, it was completely different. And not to mention the kit. The kit was expensive, okay, and we had $1,000 worth of product that we would really seriously never use. Like, it just, it was ridiculous. Oh, and here's the other part that's different with It Works. You know how most times when somebody goes to a party, I don't know, maybe they're selling candles or makeup or something like that, you know, they go with the hope that, you know, they're going to take their time and they're going to have their setup and they're going to, you know, be dressed appropriately and they're going to take their gas to go and hope that they make a sale, okay? With It Works, it's a little bit different. Because everybody that is coming to a party is coming to get wrapped, okay? And that's called wrap cash. Everybody that's coming to the party is going to wear something comfy, bring $25, and a liter of water. At the party, you're not inconveniencing your hostesses to have them have food or anything else like that because this party is not like that, okay? You're there to introduce them to products. Um, you can do toxic tests and have them sample the greens and sample the lip and eye cream and, you know, try on the wrap and, you know, so they can feel what the wrap actually feels like on their skin and see their own results, okay? So that's the difference. So, like, let's say, for instance, eight people were to show up at a party. You know that whenever you're getting ready to pull out your door, that eight people are getting wrapped, and that's $200 wrap cash right there on the spot that's yours, okay? Then out of that, as you're talking to people, a lot of the times people will want to become loyal customers because they've seen the results on themselves and they've felt it. And then you're also going to have the other people that are like, I want to join this business. And that's how it works becomes so easy because our products are second to none. You can't get it anywhere else. We're compared to liposuction and slimwear. It works as non-invasive. It's all natural. I had a heart attack at 34. I'm 38 years old right now. And I can use every single one of the products, and I do. And that's probably, I love that fact. I love that I can use the products and become a product of the product because we become walking billboards. We look better. We feel better. You know, our energy levels are up. You know, maybe a little less wrinkles on your face. You know, just the products are amazing. I love them. Jenny, do you have anything else? No, I think we covered everything for today. Thank you, Heather. You're welcome. All right, well, thank you guys so much for being on the call this evening. And if somebody has sent you to this call, please get back with them. They are super excited 
to um, hear from you, and they have seen something inside of you that makes them believe that you will be an amazing distributor. I hope to see you as part of the family very soon. Thank you so much. Have a good night.